We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm joined by Dr. Cosmos Zavazava, Chief of Project and Knowledge Management at ITU. Dr. Zavazava, could you tell us about the importance of question 5-2 to the work of ITU? Yes, that question actually focuses on how ICTs, which is Information and Communication Technologies, could contribute to disaster risk reduction as well as to disaster management. So it dovetails with what we do on a daily basis in our attempt to save lives. We, we have witnessed a lot of disasters across the globe. And uh, this particular study question, which brings together the private sector, member states, and uh, industry in general, is focusing on how to mobilize uh, current and emerging technologies for saving lives. So, so we think, uh, uh, holding this workshop uh, during the discourse of uh, question 5 uh, slash 2 is quite uh, strategic in the sense that uh, there is a link between intellectual discussions and uh, theory uh, with day-to-day -day practical activities uh, that we embark on when we are delivering assistance to member states. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add? Yes, absolutely. I think uh, the most important thing that is going to emerge during this workshop is the need for cooperation, collaboration, and coordination. Uh, we know that sometimes it is difficult when we go into the theater, disaster theater, to talk to each other and to work with many other agencies, NGOs, and uh, the government entities. But we think uh, primarily the first person who should benefit from uh, partnerships should be the victims of the disasters and the people on the ground. Uh, then the second winner naturally is under the formula win-win, uh, the partners th that come together. So we would like to work with other UN agencies, to work with uh, non-government organizations, to work with uh, the people on the ground to make sure that we deliver assistance in a timely manner and uh, that assistance must be the right assistance and it has to be of the right quality, and it has to be able to respond to the needs on the ground. We have seen from various disasters that sometimes there is a disconnect between what is delivered, what is delivered to the population and that which is required by that population. So we are very enthusiastic. We are happy that the private sector is very active. As you saw, the government of Japan has just sponsored a coffee bre break, which shows their commitment. And recently we concluded an agreement with them uh, to co-finance a project on using big data for Ebola and other epidemics to mitigate the impact of epidemics as they spread across the globe. And we are excited. Uh, they are excited and everybody I'm sure is excited about this. Thank you very much, Dr. Zavazawa. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you.